Hello everybody, uh, Yelsa Former here, welcome on this first look at Blue Mountain Valley. This was a new map today on console and also I think it's new on PC and Mac. This is by TNT Modding. The map itself is not that big when it comes to megabyte, it's 117. I think it's even uh, smaller than no man's land so let's jump into the map itself here we go so you can see the north part here is mostly fields and the area here is only forest and you can also buy chunks of the forest like so as you move on with your forestry and you got your sawmill in the middle here which is nice so what you start with you start with a whole a big area you have four fields four uh, and five nine and ten which are empty and you have a, a lot of equipment and a lot of animals you got a horse paddock which can hold 16 horses you got a 400 chicken uh, chicken pasture chicken pen you got a cow pasture 500 cows you got a pig enclosure and you got a sheep pasture so that the farm area is really big uh, and also you own apparently a small dot up here and also down here you own an area i don't know if that's just a glitch or you cannot sell it of course then you're selling all your area uh, but yeah i think it's just a glitch and on the farm you also have a farm silo you have a lime station and a hayloft and you have a farm silo down here now you can tell that by it's white when it's a cell point it's yellow like this and down here it's the wine grape area which you can buy not that expensive this farm silo will hold 200,000 liter uh, field prices not that bad actually big fields like like 23 it's only 300,000 I think the most expensive one was this down here field 28 and the forestry area was also a little bit more expensive but the field prices like here field 6 you get a whole lot of area outside also biogas plant is over here not that expensive 234 and also a big area around it so there you go there are seven cell points and on this map you are getting two additional uh, crops so to speak you have red grape saplings and white grape saplings now you also have a farmhouse with a sleep trigger always nice to have uh, when it comes to the cell points um, maybe I am not I didn't find it but anyway we have seven different ones and all the way at the end you can also see I have the straw harvest I want to see if you can use the straw harvest add-on and you can because the pellet prices are coming up and you also see the red and the white grape wine grape uh, which you can sell at 
the Johnson Supply and the Smith Mill. Uh, what I didn't find were like for instance um, at the spinnery. I don't see any prices for wool or cotton. You have a sheep pasture so I don't know if we can sell wool there. I have to test that. And also what else did I didn't find? Uh, eggs. I don't see any places where you can sell eggs even though you start with a big chicken pen so there's of course a lot of sell points that you can place on your farm like the self marketing or so on uh, let's have we have to fly around this uh, farm so if I put the map on the bottom you can see this is field 9 which you own you own this one field 10 so now I'm at the south point of the farm here you have your horses 16 horses you got some sheds this one here is only for decoration and here is the big cow pasture or enclosure 500 cows moving a little bit to the west we have the farmhouse here we have the chickens over here this is the farm silo the big one is 200,000 liter and you got two 100,000 liter extensions so we have 400,000 liter capacity on your farm you also have a water tank which is always nice and you also have a silage silo two of them you have a hayloft for your hay and your straw you also have a workshop and a few this is also a fuel station where you can fill up your equipment and over here you have herbicide and liquid fertilizer uh, I tested them out and the price isn't that bad actually they were a little bit lower than the in-game pallets and this guy here in the map it says it's a lime station but I tested it and you can also buy solid fertilizer uh, and what was the last one seeds and the price were very good compared to the in-game pallets so even though it says only lime here or lime station you can get solid fertilizer and seeds moving on you own also all this area here which you can cut down the trees and plow up new fields this is like a living quarter for your workers moving over here you get into the pig enclosure with more sheds and more equipment I come back to the equipment you get a lot of start equipment and lastly way north on your farm is the sheep pasture with also a lot of good sheds and you also have this field here field 4 and field 5 and what I really like about this map is that there's nothing in between the fields so here you can just plow it up and make one big field and when you have the money enough you can buy these fields and plow in between and you can get some really big fields over here so that's really nice I think so uh, did I mention yeah contracts are available so what do we start with Ooh, and what's the slot count for console the slot count is 
fairly low, I would say, with the amount of equipment that you start with. It's 593, and you can see here there's a lot of equipment. You got the New Holland T5. The biggest tractor we have is the Case Puma with 270 horsepower. You got a 6M John Deere. You got the Russell Mash Harvester a trailer and a pretty good uh, start header, 9 meter draper. You also got a corn sunflower header. This one is a subsoiler. I don't know why you have it. Not because I don't use it, but this one requires 420 horsepower. So this one you cannot <laughs> you cannot use it. <laughs> you got a decent cedar. Uh, you got a planter. You got an extra tank. This one you can either fill with seed or um, fertilizer. And you can put it on the front of your tractor while you're planting or seeding. It will fit both of these two. So that's perfect. You got liquid. Uh, fertilizer spreader, solid fertilizer spreader, and lime spreader, manure spreader, slurry spreader, front loader bucket, and you get egg pallets which are ready at your chicken pen. They will automatically load. Uh, you get the cow pasture, pig enclosure, large sheep, horse paddock, chicken coop. And you get two large grain silos, one at your farm and one down at the wine grape area. Uh, hayloft and you get two, the two extension tanks which are at your main farm. A bunker silo, herbicide, liquid fertilizer tank, vehicle shop, water station, lime station and farmhouse. So there's a lot of equipment and if you don't like doing horses you can always sell it. You can sell all of this if you want. If you want to build up the money, you know for cow pasture you're getting 150,000. So it's all up to you. You can of course sell everything here. I haven't tried it start from scratch or farm manager uh, so what I will do now I think I'm gonna grab the case and I can just show you let's open this one at the lime station here fertilizer or seed because this will not take lime uh, but the red one in the shed there will take lime so then you will get only the lime option but here you can buy seeds so 2200 liter it's only 595 594 to buy so that's cheap anyway We'll have a little drive around around the map. So I'm gonna go out of the farm and over here and take around here down. Let's go into the cell points, maybe into the sawmill and all the way around here. And we also got I forgot to f tell you that we got some new potato harvesters under vehicles and potato technology this one is the in-game one so we got a modded one of this one which holds 50,000 liter the in-game one is only 9,590 liter and then we got this bad boy here this will take 150,000 liter with either potato or sugar beet and look at the color sir you got a whole lot of metallic colors which you can choose design color 
is the upper part let's take this one you can see it changes that color I know this is not everybody's cup of tea with a metallic shine uh, but you can also have the normal hardy red and the normal in-game colors if you want it's exp expensive but it's like I said 150,000 liter with potatoes Ooh, and uh, the pipe so to speak is also a little bit better I think than the in-game one so here I got one with the normal hardy color and then I got one here yeah I forgot to tell you also that on a potato technology on the tools you also get a new header 5.4 meter header which have the exact same color configuration so here I got one in hardy metallic And I also leased myself, which I tried to make in John Deere color. At least it says it's John Deere metallic. And let's jump into this one. I have unfolded it now. So if you press L1 and right stick up and down, you see the pipe is going really long down. And L1 and right stick left or right. You can also use the outer part. I've done potatoes a couple of times with the other one and the pipe on that one is like up here and you have to drive really close to it. But on this one you can there's a really good reach on this one. So there we go. It's more like a PC potato harvester this one, 150,000 liter. Also a nice thing here is there's no traffic. So you don't have to worry about crazy drivers in your way and you can get really big and wide equipment around these roads big open area it is based not on a real uh, map am I going the wrong way now uh, yes anyway and also it says in the it says in the mod hub that uh, you need let me just check what he's writing uh, required mods are the broad 9000L and DRL 140N and the grape planter uh, so I thought okay but I didn't install them and I could open the map without having any issues so you don't need them but if you want to do grapes you have to install those mods so I'm just gonna drive along here and I thought there were two farms looking at the map but we're coming up to an area now where it seems to be like TNT has placed a farmhouse if you look at the map we are up here now and here it looks like a house and it's over here so maybe TNT placed a farmhouse there and then he deleted it I don't know <laughs> so as you can see big open areas big open fields easy to work with easy to hire workers 
No hedges. So now we are coming up to the biogas plant. You got some silos. There on this point you will get your byproduct, your digestate. You can deliver your manure or yeah, manure here and also this biogas plant. Let me see, we have to buy it, of course. You know what? Let me get some money and we'll buy it. We have suddenly 2 million euros, so <laughs> let's try to buy the biogas plant. Bam, like so. And then we can check on the cell points. So it will take your silage, your grass, and your hay. Manure and slurry. Okay, that's interesting. You can also deliver or sell your hay here. So, moving on. We will go further down here to the animal dealer. Moving on, we are coming down to one of the main cell points, which is called the Smith's Mills. Smith Mills. There we go. This is the Smith Mill, which will take more or less all of your normal products and also your grapes, if you want to go that route. Cell point through here. Not the highest one, but anyway, you can easily get a big push wagon in here. Then we come on to the next one, which I think, yeah, it's the dairy. Big open area. Now the dairy will buy your milk at least. Yeah, only the milk. As you see here. Moving on, let's see where we've been. We started here at the farm, we went over here to the biogas plant, animal dealer, smith mill, dairy, and now we're going to the spinnery, which I also want to test afterwards because it doesn't say any prices on either uh, wool or cotton so is there a trigger here there we go so there is a trigger here 
and there are wool pallets sir object too heavy so if you go in here at the cell point again at the spinnery there's nothing about wool or cotton so that's strange so what's next we are going into the shop Here we are. Here are the shop. This is your workshop trigger. So if you want to customize your vehicles or repair them. And here is your shop trigger. I don't know if this is the reset point. You know, let's try it. <laughs> when we are first there. You know, if you are... Uh, capsizing one of your tractors and you can press R3 like this and press triangle to reset them like so oh there we go so the shop is the reset point you know on some American maps at least on Lone Oak and Stone Valley uh, your vehicles will reset back to your farm which can be helpful sometime anyway we are moving on let's see we drove past the the barn which I also think I've seen before correct me if I'm wrong but But the details here is nice, the colors are really nice. This barn here I also think I've seen on Ravenport. I recall that I delivered a lot of silage bales in this area at least. So now we are all, all the way down here at the barn and the barn will buy your all your grass products silage and all your, your other grass products and also your pellets hay or straw pellets if you're doing straw add-on yeah it is it has to be there was some like water thing here I don't know what it is It's no trigger here, but maybe it's only for decoration. Anyway, we are coming over to the next main cell point, which will do more or less all of your standard in game products. Look here, big open areas. Here we go. The same drive through, not the highest one. And this one also, when I'm looking at it, it reminds me of. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Railway West at Ravenport? Oh, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played that many maps but uh, so this is the Johnson supply so they will buy all of your normal crops and also the, your grapes so now I'm just gonna drive through the forest here into the sawmill and let's have a look on that one 
I like that the, the forest is a little bit, what should I say, apart from the area with all the fields. So if you want to do forestry, you know, it's a separate part of the map. Even some boat over there. I don't think you have to log your way through. Hopefully, there's a road all the way. But also, this cell point is. I don't know if it's a glitch or I am missing something out, but. It's a really beautiful area, first of all. Down by the river. And the uh, cell point trigger is over here for your wood chips. And here for selling your logs. But again, I don't find any if we go down to the sawmill there are no prices or no indications that you can sell either wood chips normally wood chips are between the milk and the silage but there's no wood chips prices here so whew. I don't know maybe we have to test it you know, I'm gonna, uh, after we did the tour, I'm gonna do some cheating outside camera and get some wood chips and some wool uh, and eggs and we have to try out this. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the driving. I'm gonna drive all the way up here to the grain mill and I'll see you there. I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, but like these areas here, the big grass areas here, if you go into the map, there are no field numbers or anything here, but you can buy slots or areas here for really cheap money, 62, 158, you know, and you can plow it up and you can make your own fields so that's pretty neat so we're coming up to the third main cell point which is the grain mill this is a open type cell point this will take all your normal crops yeah that's it. So, uh, then it's only this area left, which are the wine grape area. Whoa. So, is it over here? There we go. Where you also have a silo. There we go. I have never seen this before. Grapes. I've never done grapes. So you got three fields here. I think it with these three are with red grapes, and this one is with white ones, or the opposite. These looks like red. Uh, there we go. So there we go. Red grapes. And here is your second silo. You can of course sell it if you go into your garage. And it's one of those. Let's try if I press that one. I need to empty it. Okay. Yeah, because you normally start with some kind of product in your silos. 
sometimes you get paid for what you have inside I think I also experienced that you lose everything so I think we have been through all the map now more or less yes so I'm gonna put up some tests for the ones that we don't have any prices for I'm gonna test the uh, eggs how do I cheat in eggs uh, maybe I have to fast forward uh, and some wool we need to get and wood chips wood chips I can get so let me try to put up something outside the camera and I'll see you soon <laughs> So we're here the day after I had to buy a whole lot of uh, sheep and chickens. I fed them, I gave them water and I fast forward one day. So now I got some wool and some eggs. So now I'm at the spinnery so hopefully the wool will sell. So here I have two towels. 2,000 liter, I think, yeah, two pallets. Oh. So let's see if the wool will sell. Yeah, there we go. 2,000 for 1,000 liter. Only one of them. Or is it? There we go, another 2,000. So 2,000 for 1,000 liter of wool, but still at the spinnery here there are no prices for wool. But you can sell wool, that's for sure. So how about those eggs where are we gonna try that usually there are egg cell points but I think I'm gonna try one of the big main cell points um, like this one the Smith Mill So let's see here, let's open up that one and let's see if the eggs will disappear and sell. No. Then we go to plan B. This will work. Let's put on the camera here. Oh, there we go. 2200. So, Smith's Mill or Smith Mill will take your eggs, but it doesn't show up here. But anyway, now you know Smith Mill <laughs> will buy your eggs. It's kind of strange, I don't know if it's a glitch in the map by TNT modding or I don't know. Uh, yeah, and then the last thing was wood chips. So let's scroll over to this guy. I have bought myself some wood chips from a secret agent. I'm at the sawmill. And as I mentioned before, there are no prices for wood chips whatsoever. But when I back up here, so let's see. Now I have twenty-one thousand liter, twenty-one. 
So let's see how much we get per thousand liter. If the wood chip price are good, then forestry could be a good way of making money here. I know on six ashes there were like two thousand per. No, was it one thousand per thousand liter? So if I get twenty thousand here, three thousand. What? 3,946 So I got myself a trailer which can hold everything including grapes I put down the edge grain <laughs> multi buying silo so let's see if we can put some grapes I just want to see how the grapes are looking you know it's one of those things no I cannot buy Hmm. So I need to get the harvester for grapes and buy the grapes field. Well, I think that's gonna be another story. Anyway, uh, I think that will be it for the Blue Mountain Valley map tour for today. Thank you for watching. And of course, if you have any comments or you see anything or you have seen anything that I haven't noticed, of course, this was a fairly quick map tour and there's a lot of things I have missed maybe. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to and thank you again for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>